Greg Zackleberry, CEO of Origin Oil, double uh, O-I-L is their stock symbol, originoil.com. Let me see. I think we all have about 30 good summers left, and then three or five really bad <laughs> ones after yeah. that. Pushing Don't around you? the house, kids. You, start, you know, <laughs> when I talk to people about retirement, honestly, people ask me all the time. And when I talk to young people, and they're like 30 years old, I go, you realize you have 50 good summers left. Yeah. And, and, you, and you put it in those terms, which I stole from Rusty Nelson. That's right. It does it for you. Riggs, how are you? Origin Oil. The story continues, and it gets better and better. Our whole crew was with you this week. Blooming. Out in, uh, out in Colorado. How did but you stand, my uh, director, assistant director, production assistant, and cabana boy, all at the same <laughs> well, time? Well, we've launched a great summer together. <laughs> you guys did. Wow, that sounds fun. They spent it's one a of whole the great summer. Three, they, they spent three days and, oh. and, and drilled through a whole summer. Wish I could have been there. Hey, listen, uh, since we are in so many new cities because of uh, because of the YouTube network, uh, let's let's give a broad-based uh, description on what you guys do. By the way, that's, there's, the, uh, there's the website, originoil.com, breakthrough water cleanup technology that Curtis will put up in a second. Why don't you give us just a quick 50-cent tour? Origin Oil is a technology company that has a breakthrough method for getting contaminants out of large amounts of water. And we are becoming famous for our ability to get frack water cleaned up, mm -hmm. which may Boy, that's a political... That's, uh, a, wait, wait, that's good, though, because it gets everyone's attention. You've solved it. more than one problem. You've, you've not only solved the water problem, you've solved the political problem for fracking. Right. Oh, it's, 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 there's so much attention on it. This, this is the summer of frack. I don't know why we didn't... That, I, that didn't occur to me first with you, because obviously the technology is robust, and the fact that you guys have this electro-water separation that can clean contaminants out of water, even, even ammonia in a matter of seconds, wow. where it used to cause, it takes, you know, five days or so. But what, you know, what shouldn't be lost on us here is, is the battle that these fracking companies have in just getting their job done because of the political will against them. And you've removed that. We were just this week in Colorado, which is a battleground for fracking. Hmm. Uh, the governor is now called uh, Governor Frackenlooper. Frackenlooper. Uh, is wow. he for or against? He's, he's doing it. He, he's he wants doing it. it. He's and the environmentalists it. don't want it. There's a big fight. Uh, yeah. And, you know, Colorado is the watershed state. Okay. The water of the West comes to Colorado, so they, f they have this bounden duty to deliver water right. downstream. Clean water. It's clean, exactly, yeah. quality and quantity. Except for the bear whiz, but other than that, you're fine. Bingo. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, so we were right there in Ground Zero in okay. Delta, Colorado. Between Delta and Grand Junction, there's 108 wells, and it's only 50 miles. It's, okay. you know, nothing. So there's a lot of fracking going on in the western slope of Colorado. And there's a lot of attention to it. People want to do it because their communities are taken off. These are dead communities previously right. Right. Mm -hmm. that now are just blossoming because they've got this fracking. Meanwhile, there's issues. Uh, when, you tr when you need a lot of water, you've got to truck it in. Communities suffer you know, in the back, and they have all these roads been destroyed mm -hmm. by the That's the, the part trucks. I didn't even understand before you, uh, you know, came on our little show here. Um, about the, the trucks and trucking it in and out and the damage that do, uh, does to the highways that uh -huh. you just have to drive on on a Sunday. What are those big potholes? Well, well it's, the big yeah, so it's, it's exponential, the, yeah. the, the, the damage and stuff that's done. The infrastructure's damaged as well as, they are, uh, the, if you believe that sort of thing, the, environments, the, the, the environmentalists think that's damaged as well. So you've taken, you know, you've mitigated that, basically. So, so the, it's all about the water, sure. okay? Uh, you know, um, each frack job takes four to five million gallons of fresh water uh, out of circulation from somewhere. Now, in the Colorado watershed, mm -hmm. they have limited amounts of water. These people are regulated by over a century of, of uh, ancient laws, and it's a, it's a duel to the death. Now, here's the interesting uh, bright spot, and that is that farmers in places like the Imperial Valley are looking to the frackers and the oil drillers to give them water that's not regulated by the Colorado Authority coming out of the ground. Wow. And that's a whole new angle. But that's a whole new economic engine, too. Exactly. I mean, think about it. It's a whole new economic model. that You've, you've brought up more stuff for sale that wasn't for sale before. And, of find, course, find it has to be clean. Oh, right? sure. Right. So this, this stuff comes out, uh, you know, the frack water, which you, which you throw in, about 20% comes out. Okay. But most wells in the world also generate floods of water called okay. produced water. Yeah, because they drill through a big uh, underground river or something. Not huh? only that, when they pull out oil, water falls in, goes into that pocket. Okay. And so, and so as, a, as a well matures, there's a greater and greater well, uh, oil to water ratio. Okay. It goes as high as 50 to 1. Wow. Now, that water, if it's clean, can be used for irrigation, right. but it better be clean. Well, yeah. Or you get a bunch of dead people. Well, so <laughs> speaking of Colorado, uh, the boys were out in Colorado last week yes. and uh, with Riggs and his team, and we're, we're, we're filming a bizumentary for the uh, U2 network and the Biz, Talk, or business, uh, biz Television Network. Um, that'll air um, uh, sometime next month. But let's talk about 
uh, this video because I, because it's got some sound to it. I want to describe before we see it what we're going to be looking at. So here. this was the premiere of our new CleanFrac 1000 uh, machine. In other words, it can process a thousand barrels a day mm -hmm. of dirty water mm -hmm. and extract the the nasty product yeah. and deliver clean water for whatever use. Right. That's a great yeah. name too. Clean Frac 1000. Exactly. Pick it up at Home Depot today. <laughs> We like to make the, the this poetic meter. Yeah, right? that thing's a really good logo and a nice, like a badge, you know, like on the back of the Chevy uh, Camaro. <laughs> clean frac. That's right. Yeah, clean frac 1000. Right. We're, we're, we're going to go to work on it here at the Okay. All right, continue. So here is Andrew Davies, who is, who is uh, describing the unit on site in Delta, Colorado, after mm -hmm. this very successful showcase that mm -hmm. we had, where we had the mayor, we had county commissioners, we had a representative from the Colorado River District, very sure. interested, a representative from the local congressman's office, mm -hmm. and they all came to see this. Yeah. And of course, clients of our licensee industrial systems where sure. we had this. The, uh, so, let's, let's, so let's roll this. And this is, this is uh, the raw unedited footage. And do we have some sound on this? Let's see. That's your unit right there. That's the This system is the EWS P1000. Stands for Petro at 1,000 barrels per day. We brought the oh. Origin Oil EWS P1000 to Delta, Colorado, to Industrial Systems, Inc. The way that we have it set up here in Delta, as you can see over here, are the incoming feed tanks. And there's four of them, and they hold approximately 207 barrels apiece. The water flows from those tanks into our feed lines, into the pump, to our system. It's then passed through our patented single-step extraction tubes where we coagulate that oil and solids and then feed it into our flotation tank. At that point, inside the flotation tank, we create a hydrogen-oxygen bubble dispersion which flows the organics and the oil to the surface of the water. Then our mechanical process, our rake, pushes it across the surface of the water and then onto our oilophilic belt, which pulls that oil in off the surface. Then the oil belt rolls off and you have an additional roller which acts as a doctor blade and the oil and the sludge go into the hopper. So this, so, so basically what we're looking at there is the process in process. And uh, I mean, you, the, you, you've taken this muck and you've yeah. cleaned it up and you, and you can see the byproduct of the thing. It, it's, a, it's, it's uh, you guys have done something that no one's done here. I think, I think the, uh, it, it can't be, uh, you, you can't, we can't let it be lost on us there. Exactly, so it's a, it's a high speed process, it's real time. Uh, existing uh, frac water cleanup processes, they got to put them in big settling tanks and yeah. wait a couple weeks. Well, how many tanks are you going to have? Right. Right. This way, it's real time. It comes out, it gets clean, it goes back down the tube as refrac. And how long does that so, process take? Yeah, how long so, you know, a couple minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. A couple minutes. Yeah. yeah. Riggs, you know, I often get emails about, uh, about the company here, and, we, and we, we do a pretty good job of, of kind of focusing on what you guys are doing next. The barrier to entry in this thing, and what that means, folks, is that it's, it's very simple. When you, when you create something that's disruptive in a technology basis, one of the biggest concerns is not whether you are the first or even the best. It's about how you can defend it. Because if a big company comes along uh, and mm -hmm. decides that they want to steal your deal or say they did it before, it's not about who's right or wrong at the point. It's about the cost of defense. You guys have some very strong patents here. Let's in fact, we're that. just doing a review with our, our, our law firm today, and we think we have a very strong position versus the other players in this industry that include Halliburton. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we are extremely well positioned for technology. And because, unlike Halliburton, we don't just take over your rig, sure. right? Mm -hmm. You can just adopt our stuff and get to work. It's going to make our adoption extremely rapid. Good stuff. The uh, what's so what's so what's next? We you know we talked about aquaculture a few weeks ago. Then we then we're back to oil and gas and talking about algae. And you guys have a lot of things going at the same time. All your verticals are kind of moving in the same direction. What's next for you guys in the next few months? Well, absolutely. This continuing summer of showcases on this thousand and soon a five thousand barrel a day unit mm -hmm. in uh, Houston, Texas, and, and, and uh, at I was going to mention it. Uh, American Renewable Energy Day mm -hmm. in Colorado in August. We're going to have that machine at the Hotel Jerome cleaning up frack water. 
And it's going to be behind the kitchen, uh, and also it, cleaning up the dishwasher. Right, and it is Colorado. I think I should go on this one. I think, Aspen? Sure. Why not? I think we need to go on this one. <laughs> and what time? What part of the year? Uh -huh. August 10th in Aspen. Okay, Come on. we're going to be in Aspen in, in, in uh, November, December for the other uh, origin oil thing. Guys, you're there. <laughs> yes, you the decided. helicopter. Riggs, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Riggs Eckleberry, Origin Oil, OriginOil.com. More Big Biz coming up.